Hello and welcome to Tech Luxury. What's the most expensive house in the world? Well, you're about to find out. But in the meantime, we can tell you that you'll need at least $128 million to own a house on this list. In this video we take a look at all kinds of houses and homes, from penthouses in Monaco to palaces in England. So, without further ado, here's a list of the 10 most expensive houses in the world. But before you do, make sure to subscribe, like, and turn on that notification bell. Kicking off our list with number 10 from one of the most expensive houses in the world is 18 to 19 Kensington Gardens. The behemoth of a house is located on Billionaires Row, which is in one of London's most prestigious areas, Kensington Gardens. The property is now owned by Indian business magnate and billionaire, Lakshmi Middle. He is the chairman and CEO of the world's largest steel-making company, ArcelorMittal. The house is roughly 55,000 square foot and was first built in the 19th century. It was originally two semi-detached houses, later being converted into a single dwelling by developer David Kalili. It has 12 bedrooms, an indoor pool, Turkish baths, and enough parking spaces for 20 cars. Before Mr. Middle purchased the property, it was owned by some pretty famous and wealthy families. For example, the Rothschilds, Free Poles, David Kalili and Bernie Ecclestone. Mount Middle can enjoy the peace of mind, knowing that his neighbors are Prince William and Kate Middleton. Number 9. Palazzo di Amore, this house is worth $195 million. It's not a surprise that one of the most expensive homes in the world can be found in Beverly Hills, California. Palazzo di Amore is owned by successful real estate entrepreneur, Jeff Green, and is approximately 53,000 square feet. The Mediterranean-style villa has 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, numerous swimming pools, tennis courts, waterfalls and theaters, and also has a 27-car garage. Now, if you're into partying, then you'll be interested to know that the house also has a revolving dance floor and ballroom, ready to bust the moves whenever you want. The house generally looks more like a holiday resort than someone's home, but we can assure you that it is one of the world's most expensive homes. Going further to number 8, there is Ellison Estate, which is worth $200 million. Owned by Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle and one of the world's richest men, this $200 million estate is the eighth most expensive house in the world. Due to the sheer size of the estate, 23 acres to be exact, the property holds more than one dwelling. Within the compound, you'll find 10 different properties, a tea house and bathhouse, a man-made lake and a koi pond. Much of the design of the estate falls under Japanese influence and was modeled after a Japanese emperor's palace. The house was designed by Paul Driscoll, who was an architect and Zen Buddhist teacher. Throughout the estate grounds, you'll also find some very expensive trees, like cherry blossoms, maples, oaks and redwoods. Number 7. For Fairfield Pond. This house is worth $248 million. You can't have a list of the most expensive houses in the world, and not of one located in New York City. For Fairfield Pond is the home of Ira Renner, owner of the Renault Group, a holding investment company in smelting and manufacturing. The 63-acre home comes equipped with 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a 91-foot dining room, basketball court, bowling alley, squash courts, tennis courts, and three swimming pools. To power the mansion, it requires a gigantic amount of electricity, fortunately, the house comes with its very own power plant located on site. And, for those of you that love your cars, 4 Fairfield Pond has a garage that can hold somewhere in the region of 100 cars. Insane. Number 6, The Odeon Tower Penthouse. This insane penthouse is worth more than $330 million. With an estimated value of $330 million, the Odeon Tower Penthouse is right up there with the most expensive houses in the world. For that kind of money, you'll get a 35,000-square-foot apartment at the very top of one of the most expensive buildings in Monaco. The Tour Odeon was designed by architect Alexander Giraldi and developed by Group Mazzococo. The penthouse is spread out over several floors and includes its own private elevator. If that's not enough, then how about a private water slide into a 360-degree view infinity pool? If you're a bachelor and you've got the cash, snap this one up when it next comes back on the market, as it's one of the most impressive houses we've ever seen. Coming up to number 5. Les Palace Bulls. This bubble palace is worth $390 million. Coined the Bubble Palace, Le Palace Bull was designed by Hungarian architect Antti Lavag and was built somewhere in the region of 1975 to 1989. 
Its nickname comes from a series of round rooms that look out over the Mediterranean Sea. La Vag's inspiration for the design of the property came from man's earliest dwellings, however, this dwelling has been seriously upgraded with some really nice creature comforts. For example, the property has three swimming pools, numerous gardens and a 500-seat amphitheater built into the hillside grounds. Bubble Palace is currently owned by Pierre Cardin, an Italian-born French fashion designer. The property is mainly used as a holiday home for Pierre, alongside being a spectacular venue for parties and events, such as when Dior showed its cruise collection there at an indoor-outdoor fashion show. Before we go to number 4, have you already liked this video and subscribed? Keep watching because you don't want to miss number 1. Coming by number 4 we have Villa Les Setters, which is worth $450 million. Villa Les Setters which is located in Saint Jean Cap Ferret, France. Estimated at $450 million, this home getting close to being worth almost half a billion dollars. It was first built in 1830 and purchased by King Leopold II of Belgium in 1904. It was previously considered to be the most expensive house on the market back in 2017, but has since been overtaken by the next three properties on the list. The property is set on approximately 35 acres of gardens, and its name derives from the many cedar trees located throughout its grounds. The house itself is roughly 18,000 square feet and consists of 14 bedrooms. It also has an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a large stable, big enough for 30 horses. Inside, you'll find crystal chandeliers, gilded woodwork, 19th-century oil paintings and a wood-paneled library holding somewhere in the region of 3,000 books. Here we are. The Top 3. Villa Leopolda is worth $750 million. Villa Leopolda is the third most expensive house in the world. The villa is owned by the widow, Lily Safra, of Lebanese-Brazilian banker, Edmund Safra. It's located in the Francis Alps Maritime Department of its Côte d'Azur region and occupies approximately 50 acres. It has 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a commercial greenhouse, helipad, outdoor kitchen, and one of the nicest swimming pools you'll ever see. The property is famous in itself, as it was the setting for Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 film, To Catch a Thief. The house's name comes from its original owner, King Leopold II of Belgium, and was redesigned in the 1920s by American architect, Ogden Codman Jr. Number 2, Antilla, the second most expensive house in the world, is located in Mumbai, India, and costs a whopping $1 billion. It was designed and constructed by Chicago-based architecture firm, Perkins & Will, and hospitality design firm, Hirsch Bender Associates. The property was built for Mukesh Ambani, the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company, and India's richest man. The 400,000-square-foot building is positioned in Mumbai's Kambala Hill neighborhood and stands at an impressive 27 stories high. It's also been built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. Inside the house, you find six floors that are purely devoted to car storage, a service station for the cars, a temple, a 50-seat movie theater and nine elevators. It also has a health spa, three helipads, a salon, a ballroom and yoga studio, an ice cream room and multiple cinemas. So, when all that's said and done, Antilla reportedly requires a staff of at least 600 to keep things running smoothly. There we are, number one. At number one we got the Buckingham Palace which is worth $2.9 billion. Coming in at number one on the list and claiming the title of the most expensive house in the world is Buckingham Palace. The palace is owned by the British royal family and is one of a number of lavish properties in their portfolio. It is located in the city of Westminster, London, and comprises of 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices and 19 staterooms. It's been the official residence of the monarchy since 1873. In terms of size, the palace checks in at approximately 828,000 square feet, and the garden alone is 40 acres. However, despite its impressive size and taking the title of the most expensive house in the world, it's still not the largest palace in the world. It's estimated that if the palace were to be put up for sale, it would be somewhere in the region of $2.9 billion, but it's highly unlikely it will ever happen. We hope you enjoyed our list of the 10 most expensive houses in the world. Isn't it amazing to think that a house can cost over a billion dollars, it's insane to think for sure, but it's a reality. Think yourself lucky you don't have to pay for the upkeep every month. Which of these most expensive houses would you like to own one day? Leave a comment below. If you liked this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe.
Also don't forget to turn on the notification button and let us know in the comments what topic you want us to talk about next time. Thanks for watching.